In this video, we will look at the top bar and display window within Register and how to use all their features. The top bar is displayed at all times within Register. From here, you can access the menu, log off the current member of staff, as well as suspend or retrieve transactions and switch clerks. When on the staff screen, you can also access the settings, training mode, and manually synchronize the data with the web portal by tapping the Update Data button. The display window will display details of the most recently added product as well as provide user instructions when carrying out specific functions. In this case, it is prompting you to select an item from the journal to void. To show these in action, we will start from the login screen. As you can see, we only have two buttons available. The update data button, which is used for synchronizing information with the web portal, like product and prices, and a button with three dots. To sync the data, it is a simple case of tapping Update Data. As long as your device is connected to a network with an internet connection, the process will complete. If it is offline, it will display a connection error. By tapping the button with three dots, we are given a sub-menu where we can access the register settings as well as enable or disable training mode. We cover the settings in another video. This is where you first set up a new register. By tapping Enable Training Mode, the system will change to red and clearly display Training Mode. This mode allows you to use Register without recording any sales for training purposes. Receipts will still print, but the cash drawer will not open. At the start of each transaction, you will be reminded you are in Training Mode and sales will not be recorded. To exit Training Mode, log off and tap the button with three dots, then tap Disable Training Mode. After logging in, the content of the top bar changes. Now we have the menu button on the left. Tapping this will open the main menu for accessing other features. The folder option will open the resume transaction window for resuming any suspended transactions. This is then followed by the logged in staff member with an option to sign off which returns you to the login screen. Once you have added an item to a transaction, the top bar will change once again. The Resume Transaction folder has been replaced by a Save icon used for suspending transactions. There is also an Arrows button used for switching clerks. To suspend a transaction, tap the Save button and you'll be asked to either give the transaction a name or select a transaction name from a list. Suspended transactions can then be resumed by tapping the Resume button and selecting the transaction you wish to continue. You can quickly switch clerks which suspends the transaction and logs a different member of staff onto the till. You would typically use this in quick service environments such as bars and coffee shops where multiple people are interacting with a single till. Moving on to the display window. As previously mentioned, this provides the user with information when adding products and provides instructions when entering a quantity, tender amount, or when carrying out functions such as void, refund, price override, and quantity adjustments. Further information on the top bar and display window can be found in your user manual. If you still have any questions, please get in touch with your solution provider who will be able to offer further assistance.